Okay, we may actually die here. This is gonna be a bummer. Oh, we're at a heart and a half. This is not looking good. And I can't heal yet. One heart. This is not going good. Please let me heal soon. Hey guys, Seiji here. In today's episode, we built a couple create farms, we ran a ton of volts, completed a cake volt, and um, even made a new friend, kind of. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. Hey everybody. So last episode, we got that Omega Pog, and I said we were going to run a cake volt. But before we do that, you may notice my level's just a bit higher than the last time we met. And that's because I ran a vault off camera, because I wanted to hit level 24 before we entered the cake vault. We didn't hit level 24, but we did get a couple burgers out of it, so let's eat these bad boys up. Nice, so now that we're level 24, we can actually start getting that dreamstone from crates again. We also switched over to these unobtainium blocks because people said those are like the best marker block. But enough talking, let's get this seal done. We're missing one more thing, and that's a vault crystal. Recipe, 16 puffer fish, oh boy. So I currently have none, and the only way to get them is either to fish for them or fight the Elder Guardian. So I'll be back with you guys once we have all the puffer fish. I'm up to about 5 puffer fish, and I've been fishing for about 11 minutes now. Let's hope I can get a little bit more lucky with these next few. Okay, so we managed to get all the puffer fish we needed. After about 22 minutes. So now we can actually put the seal on this crystal. What is it even called? The Seal of the Confectioner. I probably completely butchered that name. Oh, I should have put a soul flame on here. Yeah, soul flame would have really helped this. Okay, before we hop into this vault, you guys gotta make me a promise. If we complete this vault, you have to subscribe. It's gonna be pretty hard to complete because it's random how many cakes you get. Yeah, I think you can get up to like 50 now, so that's pretty crazy. And it's the nether theme. That's a bummer. I do like how the screen starts to kind of get pink as you get closer though. Oh, here's another cake. Oh, we got times one wealthy. That's gonna help out a bit. So I think the goal for this is not even bother with chests. It's just gonna be to try to find all the cakes that we need. Okay, we're getting pretty lucky so far. I really want those ornate chests. Oh, and we got injured. That takes away one heart. So that's not gonna be pretty fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they changed the way cakes spawn in these vaults now. Before, they could pretty much spawn in any empty air pocket. So you would get a ton of cakes that were just underground. Pretty much impossible to find. Oh, we got prismatic that time. That's pretty good if we do eventually start looting the chest. I'm hearing a ton of piglins, so I better get out of here as fast as I can. Whoa, haunted. What does that do? 50% shoal chart chance. Nice. This was right below us. Oh, that chunky mobs is going to be a huge bummer. Yeah, I see the cake, but it's right by a spawner, so we got to get that. Yeah, pretty sure we got one of the worst themes possible for this. So we're up to about 14 cakes now. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm lagging. That's not good. Okay, just relax. We've got this. The vault seems so much darker than usual. Oh, but I'm seeing that next cake. Nice. Now we're up to number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. Oh, we got wild. That's going to be a bummer. Oh, we got to get that and get out of here. Oh, gosh, guys. We have an elite spawn in here. We should be able to take it out, but I really don't want to get hit by this guy. Come on. We got to take this guy out as fast as we can because I'm trying to find this next cake. Okay, nice. We got him out the way. And here's that next cake. Oh, a village room. That's pretty cool. I bet it's going to spawn underground. Okay, it didn't. Nice. We got pretty lucky with that. Living in frail. That's kind of a bummer. And here's that next cake. That's number 20. We're doing pretty good so far, I think. Yeah, the screen lighting up like this makes it so much easier to find. Ooh, another wealthy. Not these guys again. These fire wolves are probably the scariest thing in here besides the piglin brute. Oh, here's a cake. Yeah, I really love the change of these cake bolts. I know I keep on saying that. Where's that guy just at? Yeah, wild is probably one of the worst things you can get in these things. I've got a ton of guys chasing me and a couple more that just spawned. So let's try to just build up another wild. Having two wilds is going to seriously be a bummer. It does look like we are just about done with this cake bolt though. Maybe like six more. I hope anyways. I do not like how you can't see how many you have left though. Yeah, that plus two wild and chunky mobs is not a good combination. Sometimes this pink thing really makes it a bit harder to see though. Oh, draining. That's less mana regeneration. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, I think if we get down to five minutes and we haven't found very many more cakes, we're going to probably head back to the portal. Oh, but there's one as soon as we enter, so that's pretty good. Yeah, we're having to pretty much just block off these high hallways because of all these people that are spawning and chasing us. Oh my gosh, an elite husk. Now we got to get rid of this guy plus Volt Fighters. This is not going to go good. We have a chance of killing this guy, though, because he's pretty weak. Nice. Should be a good bit of XP, though, and there's another cake. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of mobs, too, though. I keep activating all the spawners. This is not going to go good. All these Volt Fighters, though, are pretty good because we do have that bounty where we got to kill these guys. And, of course, this cake is being guarded by another spawner. Yeah, I can definitely tell that mana regeneration is a lot lower than what it normally is. Oh, yeah, and a heads up. Oh, that one's trapped. So I was going to say, you can press Q and hold it down and then hover over everything, and it drops it, so it's so much quicker. Oh, I can see the cake up there. This may actually be the last one we need. Let's see if it is. And nope, it's not. Oh, it is. Nice. Oh, we've got the cake helmet transmog. So can I create a couple of chests? Let's find out. If I can't, let me hurry up and get this over with. Let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. 
Oh my gosh, 13,000 experience. You get 9,000 from that? A whopping 14 chest. Okay, 11 of those were living. I did open up three Gilda and we did get a Dreamstone, so that's pretty cash money. Let's claim this up and see what's in the crate. Before we open this, let me take a nap. Yeah, so you can see all the different modifiers that we got. A couple of them were bad, but we had actually a pretty good bit of living modifiers. So let's put this bad boy down and get a screenshot. So we got the thumbnail. Let's open this bad boy up. Four oh, we got another artifact. Are you kidding me? Let me throw a couple of these other things inside of this pouch because we have a few more items we can pick up, like a mystery egg and a rare plus helmet. Let's roll that bad boy up. What are we going to get? We got the jawbone helmet. Six arm. Oh, so nine armor. That's pretty good. Actually, it's not really that good. This one has 11 versus nine. So yeah, we're going to keep this bad boy. Let's see what artifact we got, though. And wait, I think I already have that one. Now, I actually misplaced our first artifact, but I think it's at our starter base. I hope so anyways. Um, I genuinely cannot find it. So just look back on episode three, and I guess I completely forgot that I set it outside. Good news is it is not a duplicate. So nice, we're up to two artifacts. That's honestly insane. Because on my 1.16 Let's Play, I didn't get my first artifact to like level 250, and we only had like eight by the end of the series. We did also get some carbon and also a few volt diamonds. So that's always gonna come in handy. But now that we're level 24, I do wanna run another volt so that we can get a couple more dreamstones and craft up a couple more catalysts. Because I'm wanting a few more plentiful catalysts. Oh, how, how far can you zoom in with this thing? So I reforged this a bit, and we honestly, we're going to lose one armor point, but we are going to get some more HP and some more item rarity. So let's do that. I want to check out what this cake helmet looks like. All right, moment of truth. Okay, we have a huge cupcake on our head. So yeah, one less armor, but an extra heart and a half. So that's pretty good. So this goes over to the backup gear, and we can now recycle this helmet. Recipe. Ooh, we got lucky with this one. Three more flowers, and this should pretty much do the trick. Nice. So let's try and get some dreamstone. Oh, we got chunky mobs. That's kind of a bummer. So currently, I'm really only interested in the gilded chest. And I guess I'm interested in the ores as well. So we got a couple Benny boys and also some Lermar. Oh, but there's some gilded chest. So first off, let's take over this spawner. Now we can loot the chest. And there we have it, a dreamstone right there. Ooh, a couple more gilded boys. Ooh, we got a key piece. But the main thing we're after is this dreamstone. Oh, this one had two Volt Diamonds. That's pretty huge. I think the next mod I'm wanting to unlock is going to be the Volt Compass mod. I just think it's going to come in super handy later on down the line. So there's an altar right here and a spawner right here. So let's complete this bad boy. Oh, it was a Fizzle spawner. Uh, maybe we can lead some mobs over here. Oh, but we found some Gilded Chest. Three Mystery Boxes. That's huge. And most importantly, some Dreamstone. I think there's a dungeon down here. Yeah, by the looks of it, there is. And it's a Wooden Chest dungeon. Nice. Let's try to get rid of the spawner before any more spawn on us, though. Nice. Clear these bad boys up. So I was just going to go for Gilded Chest, but you got to make an exception for this. Should have got us all the carbon we need, and this should be the last mob that we need. It sure was. What do we get? Ooh, a blessing. Nice. So I was told those are what you use to make idols now. Okay, coin piles are another exception, because we're pretty low on bronze. And did I already say that ores are going to be an exception? A few more Gilded Chest. So that means a few more Dreamstone. We are finding a ton of mystery boxes this run, and a good bit of coin piles. Back-to-back -back Gilded is never a bad thing. Another set of Gilded Chest. So maybe we'll get some more Dreamstone? Don't think so, but we do have some more Night Boys over here. Wouldn't mind some extra gear. No gear, but plenty of carbon. Oh, guys, check it out, some Ashium. Oh, we even found an obelisk. We only need two to complete this vault. This should be doable. And right by that obelisk, we got a couple good at chest with the Dreamstone. Oh, boy, we found a factory room. Gonna be best if we just go ahead and skip this place. Okay, they're following me. We gotta try to block them off. Can't we do it in time? No, we did not have enough time to do it. Look at all these mobs. Guys, we found the last obelisk. Oh, and some more ornate boys. Didn't get no gear, but we sure did get some gilded chest. No dreamstone, though. We found a lot of mystery boxes, though. Imagine we get another Omega Pog. A few more gilded chests, and these are going to probably be the last ones we get and start heading back to the portal. Because I'm currently on this side of it, I believe. Yeah. So I got to go all the way around just to get to it. So yeah, here's the portal. Realistically, I could agree just a little bit more. One more room isn't going to hurt nothing. Imagine I die in this room. Oh boy, I say that and look, there's an elite spider over here. So let's try to take this bad boy out the way. Okay, he hurts. He hurts. We gotta get rid of the babies first, it seems like. Okay, the babies are out the way. Now we just got the mama, who does an insane amount of damage by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. Retreat, retreat. No, no, we got this. We definitely, yeah. Nice. So this is a good bit of XP that's gonna be coming our way. Oh, I always forget about them. Yeah, let's go ahead and call it quits and start heading back. Okay, we're at the portal. So let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. Whee! Almost 8,000 experience. So we did get that level up to level 25 and 61 chests looted. 29 of those were gilded, so that's pretty cool. Flame this up. Let me clear out the inventory, and we'll be back.
Oh, guys, check it out. A Seal of the Hunter. I'm going to buy that because Scavenger Volts are probably one of my favorite volts this season. All right, now let's check out the pouches. 15 volt diamonds? That is insane. That's a lot more than I thought we were going to get. And now for the other pouch? 13 mystery boxes. You know what that is, right? Insane. So let's actually open these bad boys up and hope we get another Omega Pop. That would just be absolutely game breaking. No, but we did get some black opal, so that's pretty cool. Three to be exact. Okay, now for the monolith crate. What are we going to get? Nothing too crazy. Main thing we were after was Dreamstone, and we did get a couple of those. So we should be able to make one or two... Okay, we can make one Mystical Essence. Which we could throw into this bad boy, and we got... A Haunted and Chunky Mobs. Not really what I wanted. Oh yeah, look how much meat this guy's produced. He's done a pretty good job so far. What I actually want to do now is try to make this mob cage from Kajerium. We need another one of these black chromatic steel ingots, so let's go ahead and craft one of those up real quick. Gonna be chipping into my chromatic steel, but that's okay. We also need a Wutotic mask, so let's craft that bad boy up. You need a perfect wood to die for that. Okay, now let's craft that bad boy up. The last thing we're gonna need is an extraordinary Liramar. We can now craft up the ominous skull, and finally the mob cage. So this is pretty similar to the terrarium, except you can use hostile mob eggs. And the way you craft those is with normal mystery eggs, some eternal souls, and a couple of volt essence. So let's craft as many of these as we can. We can craft uh, four of them. Okay, so I'm either wanting an evoker, a pillager, or even a witch. Those are going to be like my top three. Let's see what we get. Oh, I can already tell you right now, none of these look like they're going to be pretty good. We got a husk, a drowned, a cave spider, and a shulker spawn egg. The shulkers could be good, but we get so many of those from volts, we really don't need them. But you can convert these back into normal mystery eggs. It just takes two of any mob egg, and then you get one more mystery egg back from that. I'll probably go ahead and convert these other eggs that we have as well. So it looks like the dolphin one doesn't actually work, so that's kind of a bummer. Oh well, we got three more chances at getting one of the mobs that we actually want. It looks like we got a skeleton, a creeper, and probably a spider again? Yeah. So we'll hold on to this creeper egg. I actually want to get rid of these two, and hopefully we get one that we actually want. Of course not. I'm an idiot. I've rolled a normal mystery egg. Okay, let's try that again. And let's make sure it's a hostile mystery egg. Oh, what is that? An Enderman. So I really wanted to keep that creeper one, but I really want to try to get a witch. Okay, come on. This is our last chance. What did we get? Oh my gosh. We got a witch egg. So this is going to be super huge. We're going to get glowstone, redstone, and a whole bunch of other junk. So I actually want to go to make a gilded chest. So that way it's a little bit bigger and we have a little bit more room for more drops. And for now, we're just going to set this bad boy right here and put that witch right there so now she's stuck constantly making me all the material i need okay guys so i thought the dolphin spawn egg was useless but apparently you can farm something pretty cool with it instead of me telling y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all but i'm gonna need a chest first and we'll move these later on down the line but i'm just too excited to show you guys put that dolphin in oh it's tail sticks out I'm going to wait a few minutes, and then I'll show you guys what it farms. One eternity later. So it's been about three minutes. Let's see. Yeah, so it actually farms cod, and not the MC kind. And eventually, I want to get an Elder Guardian, because check this out. You can get every type of fish from them. Then we won't have any more of these mishaps. Here's how the witch is doing also. We got two glowstone and two redstone. There's actually another Sullivan Hunter, so let's buy that bad boy up. I'm getting pretty tired of having to come manually farm all this wheat and potatoes. So there's two solutions. Botany pots that costs only 14 knowledge stars or a create farm i'm looking towards create because to be honest it's not very expensive we're gonna need one of the mechanical bearings and quite a few plows for now i'll probably make i guess one i meant to say about six of them what are these things honestly i have no clue but they look pretty cool so before we run another vault i want to show you guys an awesome farm you can set up with create but seriously the farms are so boring i agree building can sometimes be boring but a ton of comments last episode said they would love to see some building especially with create and for those of you who don't want to watch me build another create farm i'm going to put a timestamp right here and you can go ahead and skip there and see me jump into another vault. Okay, so if you're still watching, thank you. And it must mean you want to make an automatic farm. It's going to start off pretty similar to the tree farm we made last episode. Meaning you're going to need a mechanical bearing, all phantom super glue, and then pretty much that same design with these radial chassis. But instead of saw blades, we're going to use these. So the farm I'm about to show you, I used the wrong block. You want to use a mechanical harvester instead of a mechanical plow. I correct myself towards the end of the tutorial, but I wanted to go ahead and warn you guys in case y'all are building this at the same time. We're going to do two layers of these, and you could do more if you wanted to. I'm just going to have a double layer farm this time. We can't forget the chest this time. And then also our portable storage interface. And then just like the last time, come over one block, put down a chute on top of some chest, add your other portable storage interface, and you are just about done. Now, all you got to do is add the dirt. And you don't have to worry about tilling it because once you turn this bad boy on like this, it starts to automatically till it for you. 
But for now, let's turn it off. Because for our light source, we're going to put some glowstone just here in these corners. You don't have to do this, but I just think it's going to look pretty cool. And then we need the water sources. I'm going to put one in each corner just for the aesthetic look. Even in this corner, because I'm going to build a little bit of a frame around this. And you're going to go up two blocks, skip this block right here, and do another layer of dirt. And actually, in these corners, I'm going to put the water above it like that so it flows down. I actually think that looks really, really good. So I'm going to want to do the same thing in this corner. But first, let me build the frame around this. We'll do a little bit of a time lapse. So here's what we got so far. Not sure how much I'm liking it. We may keep it. Let me know down in the comments if I should change anything about it. Let me show you guys how we're going to plant everything in here. I'm going to get some crops and I'll be back. So the best way to plant stuff in here is to go ahead and get your elytra on. Now I know I said you didn't need a hoe, but it does kind of make it easier to get this farm started. We won't be able to get these until I actually turn the machine on. So until then, I'm going to plant up this wheat so it can start growing. And then we'll move upstairs and start planting the potatoes. And then you pretty much repeat the same process up here with potatoes or any other crop that you feel like planting. Once the majority of your crops are planted, you can go ahead and turn this machine on. Replace that with the glowstone or whatever other block you plan on having there. And then you got to get out of here before this thing starts to exactly right there. But now that that's done, we can plant the last of this wheat. And then put our glowstone block here and along with a couple more pieces of dirt. And now here goes the potatoes. Let me cover the rest of the stuff up with glass and I'll show you the finished product. Yeah, so this is pretty much the finished product. I'm sure somebody's came up with this design before, but this is one that I personally came up with on my old world. And I think it works out pretty good. So I want to show you guys it works. I'm going to bone mill up some of this wheat and also the potatoes. And now next time it goes around, it should go ahead and harvest these guys up. Bruh. What did I do wrong? So normally it's supposed to harvest these guys. So I found out what I did wrong. Look back on my episode 33 and you actually need these mechanical harvesters. I'll be sure to add that at the beginning of this tutorial. It's an easy fix though. Just got to turn the machine off and switch these out to these mechanical harvesters. And these ones don't actually till the grass for you. So I apologize about that. But let's try this again. I should be able to bone mill these guys up and it should be harvested now. Yeah, okay. Just like that. And it should come over here and get dropped off into the chest. So that was my mistake, guys. I am not a create professional. So this should now be gathering me passive potatoes and wheat. I cannot wait to get a drawer system going. Yeah, I think that's a pretty decent build for me. Might want to add some stuff up top so it's not so flat, though. Well, for those of you that stayed and didn't skip past this part, thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. But let's hop into another vault after I clear out my inventory. All right, inventory is cleared out, so you know what that means. Recipe? This one's not too bad, honestly. Just needs a ton of gunpowder. And this should be everything that we need, besides one sugar cane by the looks of it. Why isn't this working anymore? I have the demagnetizer, but my magnet's still picking items up. Weird. Welcome back, everybody that skipped the tutorial. Let's hop into this vault. Oh, it's chunky mobs. Whoa, okay, yeah, I'm on update six, and look at the top. Oh my gosh, a perfect starter room. Let's get out of here. So I don't really understand what's going on up there, but I'm guessing I need a lot more obelisks than normal. Yeah, before we start looting chests, I actually want to find an obelisk, or try to find an obelisk anyways. And what do you know? We got an obelisk right here. So I'm kind of scared to click this. Let's get rid of this POI first. Okay, now let's click this up and see what happens. Oh, a couple of mobs spawn. That's kind of cool. Whoa, okay, those look different than normal. Let's actually get out of here. Let's kind of assess this. Okay, a lot of mobs, actually. And they do a ton of damage. Okay, we can seem to get these guys. It's the crossbows that do a ton of damage. Gotta be careful with these guys. Okay, heal, heal. Uh, two can play at that game. I got a crossbow also. Oh, they don't take damage from crossbows? Okay, looks like I gotta go in and take them out this way. Okay, and that's the last of it. Do you get anything special from that? Or maybe I have to fight six waves in order to complete the objective? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I mean, maybe there was literally another obelisk in the next room. So let's try that again. This one, I guess, summons five of them. Nice. Yeah, the crossbow guys are definitely the most dangerous. And that's the last of them. Well, in the change logs, they did say that they made these obelisks spawn a lot more frequently. So you know what? Yeah, let's try to find all these obelisks. Okay, we're getting pretty lucky, actually. I can definitely tell they increase the spawn rates of these. I just really don't want to die because I have no soul flame on here. Okay, retreat, retreat. This is getting bad. Okay, we may actually die here. This is going to be a bummer. Oh, we're at a heart and a half. This is not looking good. And I can't heal yet. One heart. This is not going good. Please let me heal soon. Ah, oh, what a bummer. So there goes all of our items. 277 XP. Yeah, well, that's a huge bummer. So we'll sleep through this night and then try to figure out what else to do. We should be able to get the majority of our stuff back, though. So it's not... Wait a minute. Um, a ghost bond? So I thought you needed soul flame in order to get this, but check this out. You can actually hold this guy, and I think you can even throw him. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Just don't want to misplace them. I'm pretty sure you need a soul extractor to get this. I'm actually super hyped that we actually have this. We're so worried that we lost all of our gear. So I guess it's not called a soul extractor. If you do know what it is, comment down below because next episode we're going to have to definitely try to get our items from this. 
Well, I'm guessing this is a good stopping point. Let's get to my favorite part of the episode. Yeah, we gotta get those items back as soon as possible because not having an elytra is horrible. But you know what's not horrible? The comments of the episode. Up first, we have Fuzzy Cub. Shouldn't that be Fuzzy Luck, seeing as I got one and CWG didn't? I completely forgot Fuzzy Cub actually got an Omega Pog in his roles as well. So I think it's fitting if we put you right next to CWG seeing as y'all do play on the same server and next we have gadig hey man i don't know why but i want to be on your comment wall really badly keep up the good work i'm looking forward to your video every day when i go to bed well i want to put you on the comment wall really bad so thank you so much for that comment we'll put you right over here above fuzzy cub well i hope you guys enjoyed the episode oh gosh yeah let's get away from there especially with no armor oh gosh i can't i guess we're just gonna run out the way because i don't need this guy shooting me well anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode god bless you guys bye bye don't forget i completed that cake bolt so you gotta subscribe